ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with round one, featuring Perth Western Australia's Jack Della Maddalena. You know what he can do with his jab? Undeniable death touch power in both hands. But at times, his kryptonite has been the wrestling. Not to suggest that people have taken him down at will. But this division, unlike a lot of others, has mostly wrestlers and grapplers in that top ten. And you got to think Jack Della Maddalena has shored up that part of his game, knowing that most of these combatants are going to try to take him down. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Man, look at him load up on that right. Beautiful punch lands. Liver kick. I need more out of you. Just misses with the jab there. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Single leg takedown. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. He blocks the shot. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Three minutes. That was a solid punch. Oh, well-timed overhand there by Rachmanov. It won't take many of those. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back and forth we go. Under two minutes to go in the round. Wow! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Come on. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Rachmanov. Nice job by him defensively there. Rachmanov's now dealing with a cheek cut. Moving to his left now. Nice kick, yep. Oh, and he gets the takedown here. We'll see what he can do with it. And he is back up to his feet. Unable to land with that punch. Nice defense there. Huge block. Under a minute now to go in the round. Connects with a beautiful jab. Pocket and both landing. Low kick, low kick. Lead left by Rock Mono. Come on, let's go. Let's get busy. We've got 30 seconds left. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds to go. So Rachmanov's eye is starting to swell now. Oh, vicious uppercut. Wow. So a strong five minutes down. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so
after the round is over, you see obviously the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there is the horn. We have gotten to the end of the round, and after he got buckled with that liver shot, I didn't think we'd get here. No, it did not look like we would get here. It did not seem like he would be able to stand up to that punch, but he did. He lives to fight another day. Let's see what he does with the opportunity. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Checks the leg kick. advantage and he really is using it nice punch there well new round same narrative he continues to punish the body yet again just as he did in the previous frame and the front kick is there nice job by rock Mono. man these guys have some chins on them huge shots being landed on both sides He missed with that jab attempt there. Guys, keep moving. And then take shot. Now, take shot. It's worth. Checks that leg kick. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Come on, you got a little more. Come on. Trying the flying knee there. Slips that left hand. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hurting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovers. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's going to have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later on? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Rachmanov's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Under a minute now to go in the round. That was a nice strike. All right, hands up, hands up. Looking to set up that uppercut now. Oh, no. Don't wait. 
Useful. Lead right hand, that'll work. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. Seconds here of round two. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, oh. Sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. With conviction to the body. Oh, that kick is good. Oh. oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Need some work, guys. Well, the right hand is. Oh! Oh, that'll do it! Oh my goodness! Well, that smile on his face is only gonna be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Gotta think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, John!